Stars of the Lid are a US ambient music duo from Austin, Texas. They are Brian McBride and Adam Wiltsey. They started their musical career in 1993 and they've created seven albums so far. Currently, they seem to be on hiatus uh, and they're pursuing separate projects. Hi, my name's Dan. So this is the seventh and most recent album from Stars of the Lid, and it's my first encounter with them in any form. Um, and uh, it has been described by others, and I would describe it as being ambient drone or droning ambient or something like that. It's, so first of all, it's a, it's a long album. It's a double CD, and it's just over two hours in length. And musically, it's pretty much... Uh, slow blending of sounds uh, with kind of chords and maybe the occasional suspended chord in there. Um, the, the sounds that are used are from various instruments. So they've got things like orchestral instruments. Uh, I can certainly uh, spot violin in there. Apparently there's some brass and I could tell actually some of those. Um, and then the, some of them are sounds that normally would have more of an attack like a guitar or a piano but they've been modified so that their attack has been taken off so that they become more of a drone-like sound. Um, there's no percussion uh, involved here at all that I can remember or that I picked up with a, a quick scan through particularly looking for that. Um, and uh, it's mostly pretty much the same all the way through. You've got a slow note and a few more slow notes and then another slow note, maybe a little gap, and then some more slow notes, which maybe make a chord, and then another one set of slow notes that give you a, a suspended chord. There's no vocals or anything like that. It's just these, these sounds uh, going on. Um, I think, for me, the most interesting thing here was the track names. Um, the, the tracks are very variable in length, which is interesting. I don't know how they decided that one track was going to be 12 minutes long and another one was going to be just under two minutes and things like that. Obviously, they, it made some sense to them. Um, I'm going to pick out a few track names. Um, the Mouth Chew, uh, Dopamine Clouds Over Craven Cottage, and The Evil That Never Arrived. And they're, they're all kind of odd names and again maybe they make some kind of sense to them or maybe they just realize that when you're doing music like this you can call it anything you like and maybe they were just having fun um there is one track which is called tippy's demise which i, I had a bit more in it in the section in the middle was kind of, had a bigger more stuff going on uh but mostly it's this very uh gentle it's kind of sleep music or meditation music um and it's probably very good for that kind of thing, but um, as an album to listen to, it's not hugely interesting. So, that's what I think. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. And that's it from me for now. <laughs>